Now, to move towards Chavez and the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, or SNCC, uh, sorry, uh, SNCC reaches out to Cesar Chavez a full year and a half uh, before Martin Luther King does in January of 1965. And the way that they reach out is uh, very different from the way that King reaches out. So King sends a letter of congratulations after Chavez has achieved uh, certain successes. Um, SNCC reaches out and what they say is that, you know what, uh, we hear that you are trying to organize the farm workers and their communities to register to vote uh, so that they can gain political power. And we have been organizing uh, African American farmers, many of whom are also migrant farmers, to register to vote. And uh, so we have this skill, and we'd be happy to help you organize. And so here you have, on the one hand, King's letter of congratulations, uh, which is wonderful, but it's very different from offering concrete support. So Chavez accepts that offer of concrete support. And he uh, and and SNCC enters into collaboration uh, with the farm workers. So that's January of 1965. Speeding forward to September of 1965, a strike uh, led by Filipino uh, farm workers breaks out in Delano against grape growers. And the strike is asking for union representation, and it's asking for uh, the right to the minimum wage. Now soon Cesar Chavez and his farm workers uh, have joined with the Filipinos. And at that point, Chavez reaches out to the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee again and says, you know what, you guys have been training uh, African Americans in the South in nonviolent resistance. Um, and many of my farm workers, you know, if they get hit, they want to hit back. Um, they don't really understand nonviolent resistance and uh, would you be willing to come and help us train? And so in September of 65, SNCC begins training the farm workers in nonviolent resistance. A couple more months pass, Chavez reaches out to SNCC again and says, we want to do some research into who the major buyers of these grapes are. Uh, would you help us do this research? And so SNCC engages in this research and one of the major purchasers of the grapes grown in Delano is an is a is an is a uh, is a company called Shinley Industries, uh, which uh, produces alcoholic beverages, including wine. Chavez and the farm workers, uh, in discussions with SNCC, decide that they want to uh, engage in a boycott of Shinley Industries. And at this time, uh, official delegation of SNCC uh, comes down to Delano. And Stokely Carmichael, uh, who is very soon at this point to become the new leader of SNCC and, and soon after that the leader of the Black Power Movement, uh, sits down with Chavez and says, you know, how can we, how can we be of, uh, of further you know, assistance to you? And what happens here is that SNCC has multiple chapters all over the country. Uh, there are nine uh, SNCC chapters outside of the, of the South, including one in San Francisco, which is one of the reasons uh, uh, why this alliance was able to, to really be built. Uh, but there are also many other uh, groups called Friends of SNCC that are all over the country. And so what SNCC does is it, in, in these various chapters, uh, members of SNCC go around to liquor stores in their cities and they ask those liquor stores to no longer purchase and no longer uh, sell uh, any beverages made by Shinley Industries. And if those stores uh, don't comply with that, 
uh, SNCC organizes picket lines in cities all over the country against Shinley. So they really helped Chavez to, you know, get make this boycott effective.